Hey y'all, it's Michael. So I thought I would vlog, do a maybe reading weekly vlog. I don't know how it's gonna end up uh, for the week. I'm super excited because I'm gonna go to Atlanta and go watch an anime movie, which is Perfect Blue. I'm super excited. But beforehand, I'm gonna go uh, eat some ramen. <laughs> I'm super excited for that because I love ramen. Um, but I also thought of going to like maybe a coffee shop beforehand and just chilling out and reading before I go because I'm almost done with The Little Stranger. Um, for the past few days, I haven't had a chance to like sit down and read. <laughs> All right, I'm here now, but as you can hear, um, it's raining incredibly hard. And I mean, the restaurant is like literally uh, like over here, but I'm wondering if I should go. And I mean, I have my raincoat, which is a good thing, but I also gotta use the restroom, man. I've been driving for like two hours, so. <laughs> Wait, th here's the thing with the weather in, Col in Georgia. Um, it's like sporadic. So right now it was like, as I was driving up here, it kept raining then sunny, then raining then sunny. And now it's raining hard. But like within a few minutes, it might not even rain at all. Like it might just be so sunny, but I don't think so. You know what, let me check the weather, but. I'm gonna have to make a run for it, man. Mm. All right, so I'm home now. I'm, it's actually not that late, so I'm gonna watch some TV and catch up on my anime and show. So what I did today anyways, first off, I went to go try a restaurant. Um, it's a new restaurant. That, um, I think it was in Brookhaven in near Atlanta. Uh, it was okay. Takoyaki wasn't that bad and the actual ramen was okay it just had too much pepper in my opinion but it wasn't that bad and then um i went to go to a boba place because i love boba called kung fu tea oh my god i got this pineapple this was called the sunshine pineapple um tea oh my god it was so delicious it was so good and i got some reading done like a lot of reading done i have less than 50 pages of the little stranger so i'm gonna finish that probably tonight after I watch my show, which is great. After that, because uh, I wanted a change of scenery, I went to go to this uh, tea place called Zen Tea. Oh my god, that place was so cool. Staff was really friendly. It, it was like this quaint little shop. It was all tea, and it was just basically awesomeness. Um, the tea that I got was like, I don't, I don't know what it was called necessarily, but it had notes of strawberry and chocolate. It was delicious. Um, I did have to leave early because I didn't realize they closed early, so I left. So I went to go watch Perfect Blue, which is a t sh Satoshi Kon film. <laughs> His most famous films, maybe the most mainstream one that pops out of my head, maybe Tokyo Godfather, if you ever, or if you ever heard of, um, Paprika or uh, Mind Game, I think it's his least uh, known. He's basically considered like, he's like top tier, like an over, you know what I'm saying? Of anime. Um, and this was his first film. This was, being an anime fan, um, I have heard of Tokyo Godfather. I've seen it, bef I haven't watched it, I've seen it around. And um, Paprika, cause the, the image is so clear on that, like the movie poster on that is so clear. Uh, but Perfect Blue, I've heard of it like maybe once, but it's a hard anime to come by. Like it's a really hard anime to find in general. Um, and I knew going into this one that it was going to be like very trippy. Looking back at it, like there are faults with the animation in that regards, but I'm also thinking like this isn't like modern, like a modern anime. Um, but I love old, I love old school anime. Like I love them. This was a so bizarre. First off, I, this is a quick little rant in general, but okay. So first off, this film is rated R. Okay. The, uh, the movie parents, American association, the MPAA rated this rated R. Now, Rated R when it's an anime is different when it's rated R on a like actual people. When it's not live action, they can show actually a lot more. Here they show a lot. Like this, there are a lot of rape scenes in here and the girl, there's full nudity and the killings are brutal. And there was, there were like kids in there and I was just like, why would you bring a kid to this? Like I would never. What? Like, it's just too... It would traumatize me because of what happened. Um, it's, it's a very trippy psychological thriller about, um, an idol. In case you don't know, Japanese idols are, it's like a really interesting thing because 
we don't technically have it here in the U.S. Like, yeah, we don't have it here in the U.S. I guess we have like superstars, but idols there are really different. Kind of like how K-pop idol fandom is. Kind of. Yeah, similar. Probably because they're Asian. Yeah, probably similar. It's basically about an idol who becomes, who leaves her group to become an actress. But then at one point, like things become really hazy. You don't really know what's going on. And then things are blending into each other. I thought it was, I think the storytelling is superb. Like the way it leads to the conclusion, I was like, oh yeah. Um, but there are faults with it, but I, like in like the animation wise and maybe not character development per se but character uh chopping up i guess you would say but yeah i really liked it and then afterwards after the movie i think i'm gonna start um like doing this more because <laughs> it's almost becoming habitual is there's this japanese restaurant near that movie theater near atlantic station that is uh it it's open late and like, when I tell you it's five minutes away, I mean, that thing is, like, s scarily close. So, I went, um, and I had, oh, I had the unagi don, which is barbecue eel. It was delicious. I'm so happy and blessed that my sister uh, decided to babysit today. Thank you! Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna keep this vlog going because, long story short, I won't be able to leave the house within the next few days. <laughs> because I'll be babysitting. So, yeah, there's that. Um... I'm gonna try to read for short. I think I can read maybe two books this week. Just literally finished uh, The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters. Um, hmm, I'm on the fence uh, with that. Like my initial thoughts of it. Um, I don't know, I think I'm gonna let it marinate a little bit. Today I'm not really doing anything. All I'm doing is staying at home so today uh, I'm just gonna read and watch some anime catch up on love and hip-hop since I missed it yesterday because I went to go watch uh, went to Atlanta so yeah that's, a, that's the plan for today nothing really extravagant these are the books that I'm going to start on first um, is bones about bone by Yersha Dolly Ward I'm gonna look up how to properly pronounce her first name uh, so, well, I will correct that. Um, it's a poetry book. I'm gonna try to read one, uh, maybe two, depends on how the flow is. Uh, but I heard really great stuff from it and I'm excited! Next, this book and then this one I've got from a book, from the bookshop in Pont City Market in Atlanta. This is, um, Invisible Cities by, um, Italo Calvino. Never read anything by him before, so I'm excited to read it. I love this book. Look at this cover, it is so beautiful. Oh, oh. And then I'm going to also start on uh, If Bill if Bill Street Could Talk by James Baldwin. I've never read this before, um, but I saw the movie trailer for it. And I was like, ooh, I feel like I might want to watch that before the movie comes out. Um, also, I don't think my movie theater is going to get um, The Little Stranger because it should have been out by now, but like in movies, but and you know, I check my um, I check my movie theaters showing like constantly. Like I, I always see I I'm like on their daily basically, <laughs> checking to see what they're going to show. And uh, the little stranger has not shown up yet, so that's kind of disconcerting. And then I saw on um, I think it was Tomato Rotten Tomatoes. It is it it did not get good reviews. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, I might have to wait until it actually gets on Blu-ray or on demand or something like that. It's uh, later in the day now. I didn't uh, vlog during, like, in the afternoon and whatnot. All I did basically was watch uh, the Apple keynote and took a nap. So, uh, it's late at night now. I did get a chance to read, like, I'm almost done with um, <laughs> If Bill Street Could Talk. I have, like, about, I think, 50 pages left, so that's really good. I'm really liking it, so that's exciting. I still have to watch my anime, obviously, but also um, American Horror Story Apocalypse premieres tonight, so that's like the main focus. All right, so I didn't record all day uh, today for some reason. All I did was basically a uh, bullet journal because <laughs> I, I wanted to finish up my spread for uh, September. And yeah, I'm a little bit behind, but it's okay. I didn't have a chance to read yet, and it's about to be dinner time, so I have to get that ready. Um, but other than that, that's about it. I did catch up on anime, but these past few days, 
have just been literally the same routine type of thing. So, all right, so it's the afternoon now, uh, and the best thing is that my、uh, parents are finally coming home, so I don't have to babysit. I'm super excited. <laughs> I am super excited for them、uh, to come home because I'm not gonna lie.、Um, I feel like low key I've been having cabin fever.、Uh, basically, I can't leave the house. So it's just like, well, there's that. Okay, so last night I finally finished If Bill Street Could Talk by James Baldwin.、Um, I'll put up like, I'll talk about it more like in a wrap up. Overall, I really did like it.、Uh, the ending, I think, would be my main. Um, issue with it,、uh, it's a little bit too fast. Like the ending happened so abruptly, and I was like,、uh, "Okay." And of course, I got sad because it was、uh, it was a sad ending.、Uh, but yeah, I really liked it.、Um, I'll talk more about it in my wrap up. So there's that. I did also after that. I did start on Invisible Cities by Italo Calvino. I didn't know that much going into this, and after reading like the first part, I was like. Oh, I get it.、Um, it is beautifully, beautifully lyrically translated. Like, oh my gosh, it oh. <laughs> so it's basically like Marco Polo and、uh, Kublai, Kublai Khan, Kublai Khan,、um, like. Talking about their adventures,、uh, but for the first part, it's like like about cities, and it's ah,、uh, I'm so pleased. I I will talk about it more, but my God, just it's beautifully written. So today, after、um, my parents come home, I'm gonna try to go to. Maybe watch a movie. I'll see, cause I, you know, I usually like to go to the movies on Thursdays,、uh, but. Couldn't, so it's Friday. So that means I might actually have to attend a Friday soiree, which it's not the best. It's not the best. There's just gonna be a lot of people. But I am gonna try to、um, start on Paradise by Toni Morrison. Put some light on me. Hold on, let me adjust the white balance. <laughs> All right, that's that's much much better. So. I can finally、uh, leave the house, so yay! So I'm gonna go get some dinner, and then I'm going to go to the movies.、Um, yeah, I'll have to go to a Friday showing, so it's gonna be like.、Oof. Hopefully, there's not that many people. So yeah, I'm excited because I just I just want to leave the house. So.、Yeah. Guess who's here? Are you gonna give us a performance? No. So fake. You know you want to dance. I can see it in you. Here. Here. Put this on. Yes. Come on. Perform for me, Scarlett. So we're going to the Latin Festival now. Will we make it? I don't know, cause my sister's gas light just came on, and I told her to go. So if we don't make Didn't it, didn't I just tell you we are gonna? We're make not gonna it. make it. I, no, if my no, car starts it, back. <laughs> Okay, I'm watching anime. <laughs> of course, 
Uh, but I got my chicken wings like usual. So today's the last day I'm gonna vlog for this. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna eat now because I am starving. But I did get some reading done. Look how pretty the sky is this night. It looks really nice, huh? All right, so uh, this is gonna be my goodbye clip. Um, basically, Mayel and them came over. We ate chicken wings. Uh, she played the usual. Um, so I'm gonna end this vlog because I also realized that this is kind of this weekly vlog uh, is getting pretty long. I've also noticed that like um, a lot of booktuber videos are getting even longer in my opinion. I don't know if that's like a trend or something. Maybe. Maybe I'll do a video about that because that's one thing I'm noticing. If you have any thoughts on that, I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, but first, um, I am reading, still continuous re reading um, Invisible Cities. I'm really liking it. Um, I'm just taking it like one section at a time. It's, because it's beautifully written, but I'm just going with it really slow. And in regards to Paradise, I'm making good progress on it. The thing though is, oh my god, there are a lot of characters. Like. A lot, a lot of characters. And it's like levels to where I need to know each and every single character. I always take notes when I read, and this time I have them just like who's related to who. I, I'm thinking of, I need to make a family tree because there are a lot of characters, and then like each character, sometimes they go by several names. <laughs> so, like, well, like two names, and it it's weird because when Morrison writes, Sometimes she doesn't tell you like, oh, this is who this is. It's kind of like you kind of have to make the connection yourself. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it though. It's really different. Like it's, it has a different vibe to it. I don't know. Something about it is really different. But yeah, I'm going to keep reading because actually um, by the time this is uploaded, I would have been headed to Alabama because I'm going to my friend's house because we're going to go to... Uh, Ava, which is Anime Weekend in Atlanta, and I'm super excited. I'll be vlogging that, that's for sure. Uh, so that's, I'm excited because it's just gonna be a whole bunch of just fun anime. Um, I, I really like these reading weekly vlogs, and I'm liking this trend of um, a lot of booktubers doing it because I, I love watching vlogs. So yes, until then, I'll see you guys till next time. Bye!